Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I think I lost him. Nope, I still got him. Out on the lake. Ew, it smells like fish. All right, looking like a crazy guy bringing four rods to fish from the bank. But there's method behind the madness. I fucking hate tying up different lures. So I'd rather bring four rods. Plus it's a di big dick battle. Water's pretty murky. I don't know if you can see that. I was up here last week. I didn't get a single bite and the water looks about the same, but it's probably about 10 degrees warmer than it was last week. So maybe that'll do something I'm gonna throw. I've got a whopper plopper, probably not gonna throw it cause it is just baby blue. Um, anyway, yeah, whopper plopper, probably won't be using it. I'll throw it just because I just got it and I wanna see how it is. I've never used one before. Got a uh, chatterbait, that should be good for the murky water. We got a Texas rig set up here. And then I also have a Ned rig. And I think the Ned rig should work. The guy at the uh, tackle shop was saying that Ned rig with a uh, small beaver on it. Everybody likes playing with a small beaver. <laughs> Last week there was a bunch of ducks out here diving and they were pulling up craw, so. Hopefully, that's what the fish are eating, too. All right. This knot I did is questionable, but we'll see. It's only a chatterbait. I've got another one. Let's make some bird's nests. So, I'm going to let that sink a bit, because that is probably right about, well, that's probably 20 feet past where it starts to drop off, so... I'll let it sink a bit. It's probably a 10 count. I don't think that sinks as much, but. My God, do I hope I catch something today? Not catching anything the first day last week was so disheartening, but I mean, it happens. So what are you gonna do? If I really, really wanted to catch something, I would do like a uh, sinking stationary bait that f with some power bait that uh, floats off the bottom by like two feet and just leave it out there and just wait for the hit to happen. It works, like it just works. But you end up gut hooking them all the time. And I don't have anything to take whatever I catch home without it spoiling on the way back. So, I just can't do that. So I don't want to gut hook them and then throw back a fish that's going to die. It's just not worth it. That's another thing you realize when you're fishing is fish don't have eyelids. So looking directly into the sun doesn't really help them. And with how there's no, I mean, have you ever looked directly in the sun? I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> they, uh, they don't like looking into it either. So having some cover overhead is really nice. And not only is it darker, so it gives them better camouflage, but then they don't have to have the sun beating down on them either. So in reality, that's probably the best thing. This is probably just an open bit of rock and maybe I'll get a hungry fish one time coming along looking for something to eat. But this honestly probably isn't the best place to be fishing. With a reservoir like this, like, it's so open. There's not a whole lot of cover, so everything's deeper down, hiding under rocks, hiding under trees. Oh, there was a follower. Yeah, there was one. He was tiny. He was probably like six inches, but there's stuff out there, and he followed this in. I'm going to slow down the cadence on this and maybe give him some time to fuck with it, but it's probably... A little too big for that guy but I don't care if I catch him I'm gonna be so fucking happy but yeah I just had a follower 
I think that must have been the same one I saw before. Let's get that chatter going. Let's slow down this cadence a bunch, see if I can't pick up a fish. It's so exciting. He's following it in. He keeps following it in, but he's not going to strike it. It almost makes you want to put on the beaver. And this is why people skip leg day. Oh, that hurts. All right. The beave. Get on the beave. Ooh, we'll get to talk about my Shimano. This was a money waste, in my opinion. This is the best reel I have. It feels so nice. It casts so nice. But it's the electronic. It's DC. And uh, it was a little bit too much money for what you get. I don't know, I have a good feeling after I saw that guy following it. Something out there is going to eat something. At least we know there's fish. That's the important part. There's fish out there. There's fish. Ooh. That kind of felt like something. Shimon now, eat it. Whatever you were, eat it. Yeah, I think it's time to change spots. No luck here. Let's go somewhere else. New spot. Let's try it. I should be able to get two little outcroppings with this now. Just barely. If there's anything hiding in bushes over there, or if there's anything trying to get on these trees, we might be able to catch it. All right, switching over to Senko. Eat it, you bitch. Whatever that thing was, was probably too small to be eating this large of a Senko. And I left the little tiny like turd ones. I think they're called turds. <laughs> I left that in the truck. So that's not good. But we only want big fish. We don't want little bitch fish. Just the big ones. Just them big old boys. Let's put some stank on it. Ugh. Oh, leg day. Get up on there, stank. How does it smell? <laughs> Ew, it smells like fish. So this is called a Jake's lure. It was recommended by the DNR website for this reservoir. It's like a weird spoon thing. For some reason, trout love it. Not sure why the action is fucking weird, but maybe it's just because it's shiny. So let's see if we can get the action with this on camera. It's, it's not exactly, I don't know. It's weird. If you can see that, it kind of just flops around. But, I'll try. No sense in not trying. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I think I lost him. Nope, I still got him. Still got him. There we go. Yes. Yes. Yes! Yes! Fucking finally. Fucking finally. There's one. Ooh, a nice little rainbow. Oh, fucking finally. Don't come off. Don't come off. Do not come off. Oh, yes. Yes. 
Yes! I hate not being able to lip these guys. And it's a tr trout. Nope, nope, nope. Don't you come up. Don't you think about it. Oh man. There we go, finally. All right, let's get you back in the water. the board holy shit that was a nice sized trout too let's get another let's get another all right well that was a decent day one fish ain't bad it was a pretty big trout and uh, it's better than nothing that's for sure it was super slow to begin with. It's just slow all day. Everybody else was having a slow time. It's, I probably ended up here way too late. Probably needed to come in the morning when it was a little bit colder. Anyway, yeah, a good day overall. Better than last time. So I need to come out with a outro. So I haven't figured out one yet. So I'm gonna go with, remember, if you're not getting any, jerk harder.